Hello, Leo, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with Allison Nichols. Leo, this is going to be your general um, February tarot reading. And uh, if so do remember that it is general. If it doesn't resonate with you, uh, check out your moon and rising sign. While I'm shuffling the cards, Leo, I would like for you to, to invite you to go to my website. Click on the link below. There you can find all kinds of fun stuff, but you can also book a uh, personal intuitive clarity reading with me. I am uh, still running a sale. I have down there till the 31st, but I think I'm going to carry it out through um, February 14th. So if you need a love reading, I am here for you at a discounted rate. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, no. Guess that card wants to talk. Let's see what's going to happen with Leo. February 2019. I hope your year started off fabulous. Oh. Wow. Okay. Sweet. All right. And, of course, I'm going to do numerology, clarification cards. Um, so let's see here what we're going into. Eight. Wow. Okay. So we're walking into the month of February with the energy of eight, Leo. Um, so that's, that's actually an interesting number because it's about, um, transformation. So it's about, uh, if you think of the butterfly, um, the caterpillar, Pitter, caterpillar um, cocoon butterfly. Um, that's basically what the number eight represents. So it's um, leaving some things behind in order to become something new. All right. So let's do some clarification and see what is happening with the energy of eight. The energy of eight is also a good energy, by the way, my my Leo um, friends. It's a good time to um, do a physical transformation. So if you're thinking about changing your hair or changing something physically about yourself, um, or there was something, some physical pampering that you were thinking about doing, energy of eight is a great time to do that, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. All right. Good docus smoky. Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna clarify some more. All right, so we're walking into the um, month of February with the five of cups and um, and the heart. Okay, so my five of cups, Leo, is um, about disappointment. All right, and it's usually uh, an emotional thing. And with the, my heart, it is telling me that it this it, this isn't about emotional thing. So you are going into the month of February um, with a bit of a emotional disappointment, upset. There's something you're emotionally attached to that's upsetting you. Now going into that second week, there is it, this is interesting. Um, this is the Ace of Swords. All right. And the Ace of Swords is about a few things. It is about cutting off the past to start something new. It's about communication coming your way. Um, swords are all about communication. But I have the Tree of Health down here. Now, um, I'm going to do clarifying cards. But, Leo, I almost it almost appears this could be like a minor surgery or something like that. Or there is some type of a... Uh, a minor upset when it comes to health or information um, around health. And it might not, it might not be about you. We're going to clarify. Um, but that could be, you know, this emotional thing that is happening the beginning of the month also. So going into that third week, I do get the nine of pentacles with the um, gentleman reversed. So my, my gentleman is um, usually someone who is 
who has a little bit of power or can help you in some form, all right? With my Nine of Pentacles here being um, it being financial, I believe there could have been some financial um, help that you were looking towards, but possibly is a bit either in the distance or not available, okay? Um, and then the last week of the month, I'd get the Judgment card and the Safe Reverse. So my judgment card is what you think. Um, it is a day of reckoning. Um, it is. It can be legal, um, but it could also be judge judging, being very judgmental, um, or someone is judging you. And I believe it's about some things. It could be about finances with the safe being um, reversed, um, lack of finances. Or there is a judgment where you um, might have to have an outlay of money if there is is a legal battle. Um, if this is about things that are unknown, all right. Um, if my safe is straight up, um, it's not all completely coming out. All the things are aren't at the forefront to make a good judgment. But since it is reversed, it appears as if there is enough information in order to make a good judgment, all right, um, about whatever that might be. So we're going to try to find that out. Let's do these and do some clarification here. Leo. Okay. All right. So I get the three of wands here to clarify my um, disappointment that is an emotional disappointment. So I get my three of wands. So it appears that there could there are three things or three people involved okay um that causes this upset all right whatever that might be um so it could be friends um it's someone that it's it's these are people or someone one of these three is someone that is emotionally attached to you you are emotionally attached to um that's that first week the second week um i get my queen of fire and so that is leo um, this is you, actually. Um, so, or it is a, another fire sign, okay? So, with my swords and the health, my ace of swords and my um, tree of health, and this being you, um, I would just like to recommend, you know, that you, um, you know, get a checkup or whatever if you're feeling under the weather. Um, but... You know, it, it might just be that um, you have decided to cut something off, which is making you feel healthier. All right. So it, it might not have anything to do with um, like you needing to go to the doctor. It could be that you are needing to cut something or someone off um, to make you feel healthier which makes a lot of sense because if there's three people or three things involved with breaking your, that is upsetting you, causing you disappointment, perhaps one of those three things needs to be cut off. All right. Um, it would be a healthy, uh, it would make you feel more healthy. Um, and the third week, uh, what I'm getting here is the nine of pentacles with my guy who doesn't appear to want to help out with any money. Um, but I do get the three of cups. So we're back in the um, three situation. Um, so this normally would be a celebration card. Oftentimes it, it's my pregnancy card too. If someone is, announces that they're pregnant um, or there is a new family member coming in, um, I often get the three of, of cups. So there is a cause for celebration, so perhaps you dodged a bullet with this dude. If he was think, if you were thinking that maybe he would be your banker or he was going to be um, in charge of something that had 
anything to do with your finances and then he was he disappeared perhaps there's a cause for celebration that you didn't work with him because it was not a good thing anyway so you you could have dodged a bullet i want to do another clarification card on that now your judgment all right and things coming out um not getting away all right so this is this is my uh uh seven six of swords <laughs> six of swords and it's reversed okay um now straight up somebody's getting away um they're taking their troubles and moving forward or they're um getting away with what they did or they could be moving to uh try to get a fresh start right but it's reversed so it's things not moving all right or not being able to move um, so with this judgment here, if this were a legal situation, I would say that it, it's possible that, um, the, the information comes out and it, but it's just not moving fast enough. So like if you're in the middle of a legal battle, it's just not moving fast enough for you. All right. You, you want it to be over with. Um, if you, um, there's some type of a judgment going on that pertains um, that you are judging someone. Um, it appears that you're not going to let them get away with it. If there's some things that come out, you're not letting them get away with it. All right. Um, which could have something to do with this three up here and the cutting off, um, making a decision to s cut something off and start something new, which would be healthy. All right. Um, and a cause for celebration. Okay, let me do one more clarifying card, and then we're going to see how Leo is feeling going into the month of uh, March. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm in a, sorry, I'm in a tight spot here. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, on top of my three of uh, wands, I get the shepherd. So I get moving forward. Okay. Um, but I also, because of where it is, it's also looking more towards the past. All right. So this three situation i believe might have been going on for a while um whatever this is about it it might have been going on for a bit of time um now going into um you my leo card okay i do i get the um the clover now but it's reversed okay so there was some there was some, you know, upsetting news that came your way because, you know, there again, the Ace of Swords is communication. However, um, it's healthy that you know, okay? Um, although it is upsetting, it, it's healthy for you to know um, this information so that you can make decisions whether or not you want to cut something off. I do believe that is the direction you're going to go in. Um, now. Here we have riches, okay, ha, huh, and investments, all right, stocks. So this nine of pentacles, which is a which is a good bit of money. It's the nine, all right. There's only one number higher than that. Um, so it is a good bit of money. Um, there is a um, bit of an upheaval, perhaps. Now this this is all about investments and um, like in your 401k stocks whatnot. There's a cause for celebration. So I'm seeing here if there was a dip that had happened in the previous month or the previous year, um, I see where at the end of around the third week of February there is going to be a reason to celebrate. Okay. Um, so you're going to recoup some of your loss is what I'm seeing. Um, 
it, which it might not have anything to do with this whole three thing going on over here, but this could just be a side note. So, and I had thought that February was going to be better anyway for um, uh, investments, stocks, and whatnot. I had thought that. I don't know why. I said that in a reading to um, a, another sign for the month of January. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. But that's just kind of what I'm thinking. Maybe this is telling us that the third week is when it's going to look good. Maybe that's going to be a good week. Um, okay, so back to my judgment or your judgment card. Um, we get the crossroads reversed. A decision is not being made. That's what's stifling you from or you or whoever this judgment is about. That, um, that's what's stifling you from moving forward because a decision has not yet been made um, in whatever judgment this is about. So if you're trying to make a decision about what happened at the very beginning of the month, it appears by the end of the month, you're really not making that decision yet. It's You have not come to a clear decision. Um, the second week is I believe when some information comes to you, Leo, um, that is a little upsetting, but it is healthy for you to know because then you can make a healthy decision. You can make an educated decision, all right? Um, the fourth week, I believe, is about finances. I, I believe if you have a 401k or if there's any investments, if you are looking for a loan, um, I believe there will be a cause for celebration with that. And then that fourth week, um, there's still not a decision that's made. All right, so let's see what's going to happen, how you're feeling going into the month of March. And perhaps March is when you make your decision or a decision is made. There is a delay of some sort for some reason. Perhaps you're looking for more information that you don't have enough information to make a good judgment. Okay. Hmm. okay, so you are going into the month of um, March with the Five of Wands reversed and the um, King of uh, Swords and then my Page of Cups. All right, so. What's it all mean? Let's put it all together. All right. So the um, five of wands uh, reverse is refusing to argue. Pulling out of the game straight up. It's combativeness. It's arguing um, competition. It can be competition as well. Um, so when it's reversed, you're pulling out of the game. OK, you might just be shutting down. You're refusing to give it any of your energy. Wands are fire. You are fire. OK, um, you don't have the spark to even deal with this. It looks like there is an air sign that is causing you to want to pull out of the game. Air signs, Gemini, Libra. Um, stop. I hate it when I do that. I do it almost every time to air sign, too. It will come to me. Gemini and Libra, for sure. That's crazy. I am so sorry. I've been marathoning these. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I think apparently I'm a bit tired. All right. It'll come to me. Um, anyway, so um, we have the page of cups, which that is water sign, but it's also some information coming to you, some emotional information. It also is someone acting like a child emotionally. All right. So this air sign here, Aquarius, ha. Huh? All right. Aquarius, Gemini, and um, I just did it again. That is whatever. We said it before. Aquarius. Okay. Anyway, so um, Libra. So anyway, um, this air sign here is acting um, childish, perhaps, and you are choosing not to even deal with it. 
okay? I'm you're just pulling out of that game. I am taking my game piece off the board kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of how you're going into the month of March, um, which could have something to do up here with this three thing. Um, and and you've made a decision not to make a decision yet until you get more information that I'm positive of going um, with that last week of uh, February. So that's what I have. Um, I think this is going to be my last one for the night. I think I'm, I think I'm getting tired. Uh, so anyway, I hope you got something out of this that you can use. And um, please like, share, subscribe, comment, follow me on Facebook. Get a reading, uh, book a reading. Um, until we meet in March, I, of course, uh, Leo, am always sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.